it is time to continue the career of Master Meat Castle. Who, last time I actually played my career mode, did not do so hot because he fucking got creamed twice in a row for the NXT title by Sami Zayn, so... Sami Zayn's taking the title back to NXT, which is sad, but... Now I can focus on actual titles. Yeah, no, man. Plugs for days. That's right, JC, uh, JC Shades. Can't even say your fucking name. It's a master of me, Cat Souls. Alright, if you remember, uh, the last time we were on my career mode, I had the choice to um, compete in a retirement match against William Regal. I think I said something along the lines of, yeah. Sorry, I have to focus on my own prop, uh, own matches. Good luck, though. Fucking left Regal hanging to be killed by the real Americans. I am pretty full to burst with heel heat. I'm not at maximum. Could be more. I'm just about getting ready to be promoted to SmackDown, though. Let's see. Don't have anything lined up this week. All right, since I don't have to worry about defending the NXT title, I can worry about gaining virtual coins or... Uh, social media followers. Since we're so close to SmackDown, I will do the social media one, which is the tune-up match? Yeah, because that one's on TV. Hey, Suffer King. Welcome back. Against Mr. Concussion himself, Corey Graves. Fantastic. Also, my neighbors are being kind of loud. Need to shut the fuck up. I'm trying to stream here. Seriously. We're in Minneapolis. The following contest is scheduled for one ball. Making his way to the ring. From the north side, Master Mean Cat Soul. The Master of Mean Cat Souls. Arriving once again to scratch out the competition here on main event. What happened to Justin Gabriel? He quit like right before the, I think it was the 2015 Royal Rumble. Yeah, I'm sorry if you guys can hear my neighbors being shits. Yeah, they just moved in and unfortunately they are directly on the other side of my bedroom wall. So... Unfortunately, I have to put up with them a lot more than you guys do. Here comes fucking Corey Graves. Host of Culture Shock on the WWE Network, which I've never seen. Are they the ones who played music last week? Yeah, same neighbors. And for those, uh, for those of you who are going to ask, yes, I did file a noise complaint. Uh, but I was told by the people who managed the building that next time I should call the cops so that the management people get a call sheet. So you can actually file like a legit complaint. Anyway, here's Corey Graves. It's the master of me cat souls versus the master of concussions. Corey Graves showing you his knuckles which say stay down. Which is something I will be telling him to do after kicking him in the head multiple times. Uh, it varies, Snuffer King. Well, here's a great opportunity for Corey Graves to prove he has what it takes to shine at WWE's main. Wow, thanks for just standing there and letting me punch you, Corey. Really appreciate that. Elbow to the back of the head. He's already concussed. The Dominator has just been an absolute force. 
Fuck, how dare you no sell my cake? Shithead. All right, see you, RK Legacy Gaming. Thanks for coming out. Uh, I think it was because he wasn't being utilized enough. And he wanted, like, actually to be able to wrestle a lot more. So, like, Vince McMahon was apparently like, yo, just go to, go to the Indies, go to Japan, do whatever. Uh, go wrestle. Fucking flow over suplex into a pin. Um... But yeah. And apparently Justin Gabriel is part of Global Force Wrestling, which is Jeff Jarrett's new promotion. As PJ Black. And he is by proxy part of TNA because apparently they're doing a GFW versus TNA angle. Which I don't know why you would want to do a fucking uh, invasion angle with a sinking ship. But hey. Jeff Jarrett's the one uh, in control of GFW, not me. Is Graves still in, uh, like, in WWE? Uh, he had to retire because of multiple concussions, and uh, they just didn't want him to get fucked up in the long term. So, uh, they have him now as, like, a commentator for NXT, and he's a Raw pre-show and pay-per-view pre-show analyst. And he has a show on the WWE Network called Culture Shock. Yeah, I heard something about JR being a commentator for GFW, but I didn't know I didn't know if it was true or not. I don't think I've been employing enough heel tactics in this match yet. So we get back in control here. Small package. There was a swerve. The fuck? Not mean to run the other way. All right, there we go. Fucking lariat. Good. Okay, let's get over here. No. Fuck. Come on, take off the... There we go. The guy was X and not L1. Fuck you. After all these shots to the head, I've got a feeling that suit's gonna be on him. Oh no, did you see his neck rip back after hitting that turnbuckle? And he tastes the steel. And he eats the steel. Fuck. Corey, stop no selling my heel tactics, bro. I know you probably got about 10 concussions right now, but you know what the script is. Oh, right into that Come on. Get up. Get up, motherfucker. Catch this super kick, fuck. How dare you? You're gonna catch the super kick. There we go. Come on, me castle. Time to drop him. He's just barely moving. I'm not sure he can get back to his feet. Me tenderizer. It's over. Take a look at that again. There's a cover. Two. It's over. But was there ever any doubt? We got a couple of highlights here. Let's check them out. Let's go to the highlights here. Yeah, what a highlight. That false small package. Let me tenderize her out of nowhere, even though I telegraphed it horrendously. Master Me Castle wins again. Here is your winner, Master. Well on his way to being promoted to Friday Night SmackDown.
instant classic that was, apparently. And we get promoted to Friday Night SmackDown. Now you're on SmackDown, you will get into unique rivalries, uh, rivalries depending on whether you are a face or heel. I haven't actually seen any of the heel shit you can do. Obviously, I saw the face shit you can do with my other career mode, which you guys obviously did not see, but anyway. It also means that if you become popular enough, I might make you the number one contender for the Intercontinental or World Heavyweight Championship. This is the last step before I put you on Raw. Continue to gain social media followers and you'll get there. Great. On the still very relevant topic of Hogan, why isn't the Ultimate Warrior given the same treatment? I actually don't know. Um, maybe he made amends at some point that I'm not aware of. Or it could be that people already knew about his fucking uh, queering doesn't make the world work speech. Because that was like a decade ago. Not that it makes it right, but maybe he made amends at some point. Whereas with the Hogan thing, yeah, that also was fucking eight years ago almost, but we've just found out about it now. So. Anyway, we're on SmackDown now. Great. I don't know if you heard that, but I just fucking cracked my big toe. Right, here we go. Oh, crap, I think I lost a little bit of my heel heat. Didn't use enough heel tactics. Now, let's go to my character, see if I can upgrade anything yet. Uh, upgrade. Can I buy skills? I have 77,000 VC. Let's see here. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, I need a through the table fucking skill. I need that. And let's do catching finisher because I believe the RKO is a catching finisher. Let's equip you, equip you. Yes. And abilities. Uh, let's see. Purchase this slot. Purchase this slot. Alright, get immovable objects. And. Oh, I don't have a manager, so that wouldn't matter. Yeah, whatever. Alright. Alright, next event. Nothing lined up. Okay. Uh, yeah, I may as well just do. Uh, wow. I may as well just do the tune up match then. Shit. Okay, it was a catching finisher. You need to equip said finisher in your custom moveset. Yeah. And that's what I have the RKO, the meat tenderizer. Hey, Dad Potato, welcome to the stream. How you doing? The following contest is scheduled for one ball. Making his way to the ring. From the north side, Master Mean Cat Soul. The Master of Mean Cat Souls making his SmackDown debut. Good just playing Dead Island. How you been? I've been pretty good. Can't really complain. Work this week was not as bad as it was last week, so feel a little better about this stream. Plus, it's not as hot, which also helps.
Whoa, hey, whoa, hey. Yo, somebody's been telling Ricky to step up for like fucking almost 10 years now, ever since Mark Henry got this theme song. Ricky really needs to step up. I'm pretty sure that's how fucking Mark Henry's theme starts. Step up, Ricky. Mark Henry, the world's strongest man, coming out for this match. Asses will be kicked and wigs will be split. I'm not going to complain about too much. I'm not going to complain too much about the heat after being in Phoenix. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to suck down there. Like, anywhere further south of where we are has got to be fucking horrible. I mean, it's not even so much the heat, like the temperature, as it is the humidity that gets me, honestly. I honestly don't know what kind of music it is. I can just hear the bass from it. I can't really make out what it is. It doesn't really matter. The point is it's too damn loud. I mean, the music thing doesn't happen that often. It doesn't happen every day, but it still gets annoying when it does. I just, I just hope they're not going to go full on out uh, at whatever point this weekend that decide to film for the main channel. So, why SmackDown? I have not been here in a while. Uh, SmackDown is the next brand I got promoted to. You start at NXT, then you go to Superstars, then Main Event, then SmackDown, then Raw. That's how the uh, career mode works. That is your progression. Also, I was grabbing on Mark Henry's foot. Did you see that? Like, no, Mr. Henry, please stop hitting me. I'm sorry I called you Rick Ross. Fuck you. Fuck. Hang on. Damn. Oh, shit. The strength is real. Fuck. Ow. Fuck. Maybe I should have upgraded my goddamn attributes a little bit first before I get into this. Oh, out of nowhere. Dear Lord, Fuck you. Can do so much what a fucking haymaker that was. No, not again. You hear how his leg connected? Yeah. There we go. Oh, man, into the turnbuckle. Damn! Oh fuck! World's strongest belly to belly. Can he score the pin? You gotta get me off that. Oh fuck! Leg got caught on the rope. Nope. Oh fuck. And did you hear the impact on that kick? Oh jeez. Knocked in the next week. Just taking it to Mark Henry now. Fuck you. Fuck you. Never thought I'd use this hashtag, but hashtag rope physics, that leg broke. Exactly. The leg is broken. It's like Sid's leg all over again. Okay, maybe it's not as bad as Sid's leg, but you know. It was pretty bad. That meat castle is still walking around is nothing sure of miraculous.
Oh, fuck! God, I was selling that in slow motion. Oh, God! No! It's alright, guys. I'm good. Show off my muscles. And my possibly broken ribs. I'm fine. I'm fine. Shit. And he gets escorted back through the ropes. Oh, wow. No. Damn. Oh, yeah, I forgot this is when it was a fucking face and he had the JYD headbutt. There's the pin. Can his opponent kick out? No, no, no. Okay. Whew. Do not want to get caught in that world's strongest slam. Fuck that noise. Looks like we're going back inside. What a Whammo. And we're going back between the ropes. What a kick that was. He does it again. Come on, Mark. Catch a That's super it. kick. He's done. He's putting those educated feet to good use. Oh shit, I almost caught the ref. You hear how his leg connected? Come on, Mark. Three. Damn. No. No. Okay, never mind. Fuck. Another skull crushing shot into the table. And he's Damn it. The ring. Playing my games. Yeah. A little intimidation there. He's heading back inside the ring. Nope. And he's heading back. Hey, Captain Vane, welcome back. That'll wear down the big man. The more punishment he takes, the slower and slower he is getting back to his feet. Right, what are the actual requirements for that? I did not actually check. Uh, table, Crasher, where is that? Or whatever the fucking thing is. Through the table, okay. Uh, requires one finisher and 50% of single bar. Okay, good. I have that. Now I just need Mark over here. If he could stop being a shit, that would be great. Here we go. This doesn't well. Through the table. That's it. I'm getting out of here. Oh shit! No. Fucking crucifix power bomb. Or er, not quite, but it's still a power bomb. Fuck it. Wow. It's some kind of bomb. Back into the ring now. It's over. Mark Henry is dead. I'm gonna win this by count and get such heel heat. Can I stumble through my sense there? Are you fucking kidding me? You motherfucker. Oh, what the fuck? No! No! God damn it! Mark Henry Superman's out of the fucking powerbomb through a table. 
runs back in the ring on a count of like, what, six, I think? And bear hugs me to death. You gotta be shitting me right now. I mean, look at this. He should have been dead after this. That is some bullshit. That is some bullshit, you guys. Less than a minute later, he's back in the ring squeezing my ribs. God damn it. Hey, yeah, don't you touch Mark Henry. Go kick your ass and split your wig. That's what I do. That is, in fact, what he does. I mean, hopefully, I still get some kind of reward from that, even if it's not uh, what it could have been. Yeah, it was still a four star match. All right. Before I do anything else, see if I can upgrade my attributes a bit. It's a kind of durability. Fuck, I can't upgrade that yet. Oops. I you can't afford that. There we go. Got way more movement speed. I need some strength. There we go. Great. Don't have anything lined up. Okay, it's either I go into a dark match against Brock Lesnar or a tune-up match against Eric Rowan. Very easy decision. I don't want to die. No, we're just going to skip the entrances because you've seen Mee Castle's entrance about a hundred times and Eric Rowan's is just, hey, let me pop up after the Wyatt thing and look at you in my sheet mask. So. There's no telling what Eric Rowan is capable of here tonight. Yeah, that's what makes it so harrowing, Cole. And he does it one more time. What a kick that was. Dominator has just been an absolute force. No, not again. Good God. Is he pressing a secret button to move that fast? Eric Rowan, of course, the Paul Roma of the Wyatt family. In that he is not very good and no one knows really why he's there. Kind of like Paul Roma was a fucking horseman for the same reasons. Reasons that we don't know. And that one hurt his hand. Maybe that's not a good analogy. Fucking got him in the shoulder. Yeah. Got him. I mean, that's concrete. How do you do that to another human being? Belly to belly. Look at the power. A sharp kick. And there he goes under the bottom rope. And maybe some order will be restored here. And this is going to return to the ring. Here goes the turn. heel tactics. Here we go. Here this pad. Shit. Nope. Oh, no, did you see his neck whip back after hitting that turnbuckle? And he tastes the steel. 
Fuck it, that's the finish. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Or not. And he slams right into that exposed turnbuckle. Fuck. Nope. Ooh, fucking A. What the fuck? What is Eric Rowan doing? What the fuck, man? I was freaking out there for a second. So I can catch him with another suicide dive. Fuck. Nope. Tope Suicida. Got it. Ooh. Aha. Fucking dropped hold into the stairs and again nasty master me castle is having none of this shit tonight fuck you get in the ring me castle get in the ring thank you shit Oh, is he already fucking stirring from that? Fuck you. Just to he didn't make it. Fuck you. Master Meat Castle wins by count out. The most decisive victory one can have in wrestling. And look at me just constantly whipping him into the turnbuckle. The exposed turnbuckle. We had to get that replay for the near fall off that. Oh, cut to after the super kick. Okay. <laughs> we just see Eric Rowan falling from the super kick. And me struggling to get back in the ring past his fallen body. Eric Rowan was not able to get back into the ring in time. And thus, Master Me Castle wins by count out. Here is your winner. And that was a four-star match. Okay, sure. Come on. Is it true that the only way to truly win is by countout? Yes. The only true victories in pro wrestling are by count out. All right. I decided to round out this pay-per-view with a match between Master Me Castle and Husky Black Stuff. Both of you better wrestle your best because you're kicking off the pay-per-view. Oh shit. All right, hang on a second. I got to screen cap this. Yeah, I'm sorry for the blank screen, but uh, doesn't let me fucking show the actual PlayStation stuff I'm doing. Just give me a quick second. I would like to share to the Twitters. About to Face. Fuck, I don't remember what the Twitter handle was for Husky Black stuff. Hang on.
Oh, it's literally just husky black stuff. Okay. Okay. At. At husky black stuff. On. Dub dub e two k fifteen. And I need an exclamation point. Get back to the letters. I need to go at new. Yeah, I'm gonna tweet this at new legacy yank. I don't know if they're gonna see it or not. Riveting stuff right now, I know. Then H T T P colon slash slash dub 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 dot twitch dot tv slash Daniel in so many words. Oops. I'm gonna spell my own fucking username. That'd be great. About to face add Husky Black stuff on hashtag WWE2K15 and Legacy Inc. And then my Twitch URL. Great. Share. Alright, and we're back. I have returned to the application, so now that both mic now both the microphone audio and the gameplay is being broadcast. Exciting stuff. Alright, let's do it. Yeah, entrances are on for this. It's a pay-per-view match. The big time star from the NL universe. Becomes the master of me, Cat Souls. The following contest is Former a NXT a champion. And it's no DQ, goddamn. Nice. From the north side, master me, Cat Souls. Master me, Castle, making his way to the ring. Looking to use the mean cat souls that he has mastered in order to scratch out the challenge of Husky Black stuff. But in this battle of two weird CAWs with multicolored hair, who will prevail? That's right, JC Shades. I'm going to have to use some heal tactics. This Husky Black stuff is no joke. Dude's got a bullet wound in his chest, an open, bleeding bullet wound on his chest. He's not the type to sleep on. Seriously, don't sleep on people, it's very, very rude. Heal tactics with table physics. That's right. It's no DQ. And approaching the ring, Better have my money. The grapplers from wherever she wants. Nine sexy. Yup. Here comes fucking husky black stuff. The Frankenstein creation of New Legacy Inc. In their attempt to go through my career mode on this game. 
The stuff of nightmares is Husky Black stuff. Yeah, it did in fact say where, uh, from wherever she wants. That's the fucking location that they picked. Yeah, that's right. Oh, it's this thing. This Frankenstein creation. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I know what this is about. Regal salty because they didn't help him out against the real Americans. So now he's gonna manage Husky Black stuff. Oh, shit. Wow, that lag. Lariat! Oh, you want to support my enemy, Regal? Wait, why can't I get out of the ring? Couldn't get out of the ring. That was weird. He's gonna go fucking slap Regal upside the head for supporting my arch nemesis. Why the fuck did I not leave the ring? Seriously, that Irish whip should have put fucking... Yeah, I can't leave the ring right now. I'm trying to leave the ring. I wonder if we're not supposed to leave the ring because there's some scripted that's supposed to happen with Regal and I'm not supposed to attack him yet? Or maybe I'm just not supposed to attack him at all. I don't know. We'll see. Fuck! Power Slam! Yes, Black Stuff is in fact wearing the fucking Cobra sock on his arm. What the fuck? Blackout! It's the shield! Oh, never mind. Ref bump in a no disqualification match. What the fuck? Fuck. Husky blacks up with a chair. Oh no. Regal screwed me out of the pay per view match. Husky blacks up has triumphed with the help of William Regal. It's the black stuff screw job. Fucking hell. Well, I guess I'm viewing with Regal now. As soon as you start to make it big in the WWE, you forget who got you there. I will show everyone that you are nothing without me. But we'll see about that, Mr. Regal. Oh shit, Rey Mysterio is the WWE Champion. Uh, he defended it against Ryback. He defended it against Ryback. When the fuck did he win the belt? Was he just not paying attention? Uh, let's see. Okay, he defeated Batista in Extreme Rules. Okay, that makes sense. Can I upgrade my attributes at all? I really want to upgrade my durability, but, you know, some of the other... Definitely need to upgrade momentum right now. God damn it. Uh, and damage recovery. Uh, yeah, there you go. Give the last little bit to aerial range. And that's all I can do for now. But yeah, I really need to up my momentum. Like, a lot. Alright, next event. Alright, let's see. Seeing as William Regal and you have unfinished business, I decided to make a tag match. William Regal already has picked his partner, which is probably Husky Black stuff. Who are you picking? I can pick either Big E, Dolph Ziggler, or Xavier Woods. All right, chat. Who should I pick? Big E, Dolph Ziggler, or Xavier Woods? I have a two-thirds chance of picking someone from the New Day. 
Who should I pick, chat? Biggie Langston, former Intercontinental Champion. Xavier Woods, former Tag Team Champion as part of the New Day with the Freebird Rule. Or Dolph Ziggler, former Money in the Bank winner, World Heavyweight Champion. Uh, former Tag Team Champion as, far as, the, as part of the Spirit Squad. Former Intercontinental and U.S. Champion. I see two votes for Big E, one for Dolph Ziggler. Anybody else got a vote? Because so far it's two to one Big E to Dolph. Big E, Big E, Big E. Big E, show them a new day. All right, the, the fucking vote is almost unanimous. Big E fucking Langston. All right, nothing lined up this week, so... I have to face William Regal in both the matches. This is literally not giving me a choice except what I want for the fucking uh, bonus. All right, do I want more VC or do I want more followers? I think I want more VC. So I can fucking uh, upgrade my durability more, so I'm going with the dark match. Either way, I have to face William Regal. Oh, oh, fucking... Okay, uh... Never mind. I thought it was a singles match. But apparently this is the tag match. Okay. <laughs> sure. Let's do it. Quick, guys. I need tag names. I need the tag team name for Big E and fucking Master Me Castle. No, wait. I got it. Big Meat. They were clones. <laughs> Somebody's cloning William Regal. They're not doing a very good job because they cloned his, like, really old self. They should have cloned him in his 20s. That way it would have been in, um, you know, better physical condition. Just saying. We're in Memphis. The following tag team contest. The meat day. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Get the New Day clap going. Meat. Castle. Meat castle, meat castle, meat castle, meat castle, meat. That's it. Big mean cats. Master Meat Castle and Biggie are the big mean cats. Just because Big Mean, I think, was too easy, honestly. Big mean cats, otherwise known as Big Meat. Big mean cats. Big mean cats. Big mean cats. Big mean cats. Oh lord. This is absolutely ridiculous. Three ain't enough, man. He needs five. Representing the nice guy. By the way, I love how Big E's not in his New Day attire, but they announce him as being part of the fucking New Day. <laughs> hey, Kingsley, what's up? Welcome to the stream. You're just in time to see fucking the big mean cats take on William Regal and Husky Black stuff in my career mode. Three is not uh, three is not sufficient for this man. He requires five. Of course, you can see Biggie Langston on Up, Up, Down, Down Xavier Woods Gaming Channel, where he recently played Five Nights at Freddy's. Four. Three ain't enough, man. He needs four. Introducing their opponents. And their opponents first. From William Regal, who for some reason has black hair. Pounds, William Regal. Perhaps William Regal is coming out to do another battle rap. Yeah, I wouldn't know if Five Nights at Freddy's 4 is any more difficult than the other ones, because I haven't played any of them. So...
Uh, is that true? Is what true? The fucking gaming channel thing? Like Biggie Langston playing Five Nights at Freddy's? Yeah, that's legit. He and Xavier Woods played Five Nights at Freddy's 4 on uh, Xavier Woods gaming channel. Up, up, down, down. You better have my money. I ain't got your money. Better get it fast. I'm gonna show you something. Half my cheddar. You better have my money, chat. You need to get my money. You better have my money. Okay. Do it. This is guaranteed to be great. Yeah. So Fuck you, old man. How dare you team with my arch nemesis? How dare you? My hair is so much cooler than his. The Dominator has just been an absolute force. That'll leave a mark. Fuck you. You hear how his leg connected? Bam, another kick. Oh fuck! Got caught in the exploder. Is there anything nastier than that move? Uh Kingsley, I don't really accept friend requests from people I don't actually know, so sorry. I'm probably not gonna do that. Shit. Ow! sound of human flesh on the ground echoes around the arena. Yeah. Wow, I don't know if this arena could take another impact like that. No, not again. And here comes the Dominator. Damn. And there's the reversal. Listen to that chop echo throughout the arena. Hey Daniel, same PSN used for PS3? Nope. That was not the same PSN. Fuck! He caught me in the middle of trying heal tactics. Shit! Fucking... The fuck kind of powerbomb was that? I don't know, it wasn't... Ugh, fuck. And the Dominator counters it. Okay, Biggie, you, get, uh, you need to get in here and handle this. Great. Oh shit, I'm Biggie. Or not. I thought it was Biggie there for a second. No, not again. Biggie just tossing Husky Black stuff around like a sack of shit. Okay, I guess I'm back in. Ooh! Fuck, that was stiff. Stiff Larry to the back of the fucking head. Black stuff is concussed. This is nasty. New Fantastic Four movie? Yeah, it looks good. No, not again. Fuck. He wants back in this match in the worst way. Oh fuck, girl bye! They get in here, Regal. They catch this super kick! Fuck. Okay, never mind. I mean, you're gonna catch this super kick. There we go.
Oh, sounds like somebody's vacuuming the hallway. Oh, fuck. Oh shit, my ass. Atomic drop. Damn it. Oh shit, no light suplex. Thought Regal was gonna try and pin me there for a second. I guess not. Damn. Fuck you. Looks like they're doing Ultimate Fantastic Four. Uh, I am not too familiar with comics in depth, so I don't know if that's like actually any different. You have to forgive me for my ignorance. Get up in that turnbuckle. Watch it, watch it. I, I need him to turn around so he can try for the catch RKO. Damn it! He's putting those Shit! To good use. Oh, you know, sell my kick. That's great. I guess that's not gonna happen. All right. Plan B. Just fucking beat him by doing this. Yeah, that's definitely what I wanted to do. Ah, fuck it. It's fine. At least Biggie knew to fucking do the low bridge. Super kick! Which looked like he caught him in the nipple. Damn. Small package! Yeah, I knew that wasn't going to be it. Fuck. Yeah, that had to be a rope break. I was wondering about that. Fuck off, Regal. I caught him with a super kick in the armpit. God! Oh, did you see how that hit? This is brutal. I'm in the process of murdering William Regal on fucking Friday Night Smackdown. Damn. Yeah, I kept trying to lift it. For some reason, I can't lift him. Oh well, whatever. Nope. Fuck you. Will it be? He thought it was smart slipping under my first punch, but he didn't anticipate the second punch. No one expects the second punch. As the big mean cats, aka big meat, aka the meat day, aka the new meat, pick up the victory against William Regal and Husky Black stuff. Yeah. Husky trying to fucking duck the first punch just to be a shit. He didn't anticipate the second punch, though. No one ever does. Here are your winners. Master okay, so I actually do have to put in the stupid uh, Justin Moose set. Alright, cool. I'll do that after this. Oh, so why did Justin Roberts call us the Acolytes at the end of our winner announcement? We are not actually a team. And also, I don't think we'd be called the Acolytes. Oh well.
Alright, let's see. Yeah, why is my other finisher a fucking running body block? And fucking his other finish is gonna be the fucking scorpion cross lock, first of all. Hmm. Where would that even be? Yeah, I would think it would be in special moves. Oh, there we go. Fucking. Catching Finisher, maybe. Maybe the Catching Finisher is in the parts uh, that says Catching Finisher. Do you think? Also, why do I not have an RKO for the fucking Table Finisher, too? Great. Alright, now we got that settled. Have this in time for the pay-per-view. Did that big pay-per-view finish. durability there. More movement speed. Up my chain wrestling. There we go. Alright. Let us continue. Next event. See. Hope my tag partner choice wasn't too much of a surprise. Decided to go with someone I know is way better than you. God damn. He's nothing I'll prove it next week. The question is, are you better than me? I think not. Yeah, I think the second one is the more heelish way to go about that. Oh great, I have to face Husky Black stuff again. With Regal as his manager. The question is, will there be another screw job?
Oh, wait, I'm backstage. Oh, shit. Sneak attack. Oh, Heal tactics. Regal is really giving it to him. He needs to leave this guy alone. He didn't even do anything. Well, that's the thing, Cole. I think Regal believes he deserves better treatment from his protege. Regal, you were never really much of a mentor. You sort of just put me in a lot of matches and maybe jump through hoops for the NXT title. When did we ever hang out and develop, like, a personal bond? Like, never, I think. We're in Youngstown, Ohio. The following contest is I'm glad to see I'm not selling that beat down at all, by the way. Yeah, Regal just inducted me into the Hall of Salt. What would be the British equivalent of the Hall of Salt? Hey, Awesomeness 230. Uh, I'm assuming you just got to the stream, so you missed the King of the Ring tournament for the NXT title outside of my career mode. And inside my career mode, I got promoted to SmackDown, and now I'm feuding with William Regal. Who, by the way, just fucking cheap shot me in the back. The master of Mean Cat Souls. Hoping to use all that experience, all that training, to scratch out the challenge of Husky Black stuff once again. The Parlor of Vinegar. Here comes this fucking thing. Accompanied by William Regal, representing the Grapplers from wherever she wants. Nine. Sexy alien ass. Oh shit. Apparently it's being reported on the interwebs. And uh, I think somebody confirmed it at this point. Uh, Roddy Piper is kind of dead. And by kind of dead, I mean he actually is dead. That's what people on Twitter are saying. I'm just seeing a whole bunch of tweets that say, Rip Roddy Piper. So... If there's any truth to that, that is fucking sad. Shit. Yeah, I gotta take it to Husky early because I'm fucking behind as far as health. Watch it, watch it. Oh, out of nowhere. Look at that goal. He puts him down with authority. You hear how his leg connected? Okay, I can leave the ring this time. There's no scripted screw job. At least I don't think. What strength. Oh. Down. What you have shot. rich tea biscuits and tea with no milk. He's still not through. He's putting those educated feet to good use. And he tosses his opponent to the ground. Fuck! Husky Blackstop is just fucking my shit up right now. Jessica was just a bit lighter on her feet there. And the floor of this Ow. has changed once again. Oh, Jessica! Ow! Oh God! Good thing he didn't larry at me with a snake arm, otherwise it would have been fucking toast for sure. And it looks like we could be heading back into the ring. Oh, no, big boot. And he's heading back inside the ring. He 
Oh God. The dominator just gets leveled. Jessica. Fuck. Fucking Tyler Screwdriver. Jesus. And he's not following up. Never mind. There he goes. Miracle kick out. Fuck you. What the fuck was that? Oh, ow. Would you stop throwing me into the stairs? Slam. Damn it. Nope. Fuck your replay. Here is your winner. It was only a fucking one and a half star match too. Before your match, during your match, after your match, I'm going to be hounding you every waking moment. What do you have to say about that? I'm going to retire you when it's all said and done. That's what I have to say about that. Is Husky's commentary named Jessica? Yeah. That's how the guys at New Legacy Inc. Uh, made Husky Black stuff. They just went for the most random shit imaginable. Let's turn the entrances off for this. Fuck, that sucks about Piper, though. He really does. Genuinely, I think one of the best heels ever. What a 
fierce kick. Jessica was just a bit lighter on her feet there. The Dominator has just been an absolute force. Fuck. <clears throat> Yeah, exactly, Snuffer King. Damn right. Take it at the fucking Hussy Black stuff this time. Not fucking around today. Also, I didn't get attacked in the back. That helps. He ducked it. He goes under. He was one step ahead on that one. And that's a stiff kick. Tenderizer out of nowhere. That's the finish. There's the pin. Can his opponent kick out? Great. Let's go to the highlights here. That was literally the only highlight. Drop my mouse. next I was not impressed with your win against that amateur let me choose your opponent for this week unless you unless you are a pansy is that what that fucking says oh getting people to do your dirty work you must be scared of me there we go is the mouse on a tripwire or something it must be fuck
And apparently we're doing Master B Castle and William Regal fucking on SmackDown because why save it for the pay-per-view? That would be silly. Oh wait, never mind, he's doing the choose the opponent thing. Oh that's that's how I kept it a mystery, I guess. Oh what the fuck? What in the shitting fuck? Oh, I'm dead. Oh, okay, maybe that wasn't the right word to use. Given recent things, but... I'm fucked, is what I meant. Not since the days of Andre the Giant have we seen such an opposing force inside WWE ranks. Well, they call him the world's largest athlete for a reason. That's not just a catchy nickname. The Dominator has just been an absolute force. A sharp kick. And nope. The Dominator counters it. Oh, wow. Another shot with the boot. Wow, Big Show just timed that perfectly. Oh. And that's a stiff kick. Gotta keep the big man down. That's my only, that's my only shot. Cannot let him get momentum. Fuck. You hear how his leg connected? There's a good reason that's called a backbreaker. It can snap your spine. Shoulders down. In the oh spot. god. Super kick. That's the finish. He wasted no time going. No, somehow. Damn. You stop stopping me in the gut. And he's heading back in. Six. And it's imperative he gets back in the ring right now. Slip shot. Hey, get your ass out of here. Agile the big show is and his footwork in the ring. What many people don't know is before he entered sports entertainment, the big show played NCAA basketball at Wichita State. I'll fuck it, I don't have stamina. Shit! And it's imperative he gets back in the ring right now. He's having a seriously hard time getting back to his feet after that. Cole, you talked about Big Show playing college basketball. I mean, can you imagine that? Big Show running down the floor, blocking shots, throwing down a dunk, or knocking down a jump shot? I mean, what if the ref made a call he didn't like? Well, luckily for them, it was too early to be on the receiving end of a choke slam. I mean, Big Show didn't know about those yet. Five. Big Show's in trouble. Come on. Got to hurry up and get this done. There we go. Yeah, Toxic Terrorist, I heard about that. It's all over my Twitter. Me and Katzel wins my count out after RK only Big Show through the announce table. 
Because that is the only true victory in wrestling. And here's some highlights from the Fuck all that pinball bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, I guess the update now is uh fucking I guess the update now according to DMs uh, TMZ is that Riley Piper died of cardiac arrest. Crazy. How did you manage that, Silver King? It doesn't seem possible, even by the terrible fucking physics standards of 2K. Master Meat Castle, I'll face you at the pay-per-view. After I beat you, I will walk out of, I will walk out a winner. Thank you for being my stepping stone to greatness in my last uh, no, that is not how that's gonna work. We are bound by the laws of physics by 2K. Yeah, define bound and laws and physics. Alright, next event. I believe it's a pay-per-view match. Yep. At Money in the Bank. I'll turn the entrances back on for this. Master Me Castle and William Regal. If I remember, I either rock bottom him or two-handed choke slam him. Fucking, how does that break the announce table from inside the ring? Master Mean Cat Soul looking to scratch out the career of William Regal. Regal, of course, being so salty that he did not get any help from Master Mean Cat Soul against the real Americans, although, was it really Master Mean Cat Soul's problem to fight William Regal's battles for him? I'm just saying. comes William Regal, 2008, I believe, King of the Ring? Yeah, 2008 King of the Ring. Former general manager of Raw, current general manager of NXT. He's a man. Such a man. A real man's man. And in fact, a real man's 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 man. It's a man. This is guaranteed to be great. Fuck you! William Regal is so technically sound inside that ring. Oh, I know. I found that out firsthand several times over the years. You hear how his leg connected? Slam. Yeah. Knock down. What a shot. He's putting those educated feet to good use. Oh no. 
Man, his head just bounced off the floor there. Yeah. Oh God. Do you hear it? Oh man, so powerful. Talk about an immovable object. Oh god, my nose is broken. And he's heading back in. Now back to the ring. Come on, Regal, get up. Get up. Oh my gosh. Okay, never mind. I'll just punch you in the back of the leg. Oh god. Backstabber. Tell you what we're gonna see. We're gonna see a table RKO. Or should I say the meat tenderizer? Hey, get out of my way, boys. You can practically feel the wear and tear that's been done throughout this match. Oh, don't tell me Regal's actually gonna get up from that in time. Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck you. Shit. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Stop fucking my shit up, Regal. Get up, Master Me Castle. Damn. Fuck. He ducked a super kick. No. Oh god, no. Regal Flex! Fuck. Oh, never mind. I kicked out at one. I don't know what I was so worried about. Whew. Fuck. Oh, he might be going for the knee trembler there. I think I come right in the armpit with that fucking super kick. And the ref continues to draw closer to the count of ten. Eight. And we're going 
going back between the ropes. William Regal reversing it. Incredible. Nope. And the Dominator counters it. Regal Fuck's sake, I need stamina. Well, that's how you drop a wily veteran like William Regal. This match has taken so much out of this guy. He's not going to give up. But man, this has been physical. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, come on, get up, Regal. Get up and get tenderized. Me tenderizer. Oh, but it's not over yet. It is not over yet. Not letting you get away that easily. Uh, that easily. God damn. I can't even talk. Scorpion cross lock. It's over. Master Meatcastle overcomes his former mentor and the bane of his existence, William Regal, here at Money in the Bank, and we apparently get no highlights at all. I did not skip anything. It just there was one frame of highlights, and that was it. What the fuck? I don't understand. Okay. <laughs> greatest of all time. That was the greatest match of all time, apparently. After being so handedly, or after losing so handedly to Master Me Castle, I would like to announce my retirement. Great match, Master Me Castle. You are a true star. Thank you, WWE Universe, for sticking by me all these years. Aww. He put me over in the end. It's nice. So he can go out like a barrel old man. He just spent the entire feud acting like a barrel old man. <laughs>